Since we recaptured them from Zarin, the ZA-13 facilities have been undergoing reconstruction and upgrade. Previously, it had been responsible for hyperdrive engine production only, but since the loss of the Omar manufacturing facilities, its assembly lines are being expanded to allow for complete tire advance production. Our final convoy will be arriving shortly to deliver the last of the equipment for these new assembly lines. Unfortunately, the rebels are now trying to take advantage of the current chaos and confusion that Zarin is causing within the Empire, and our intelligence sources have warned us that a rebel strike force is currently en route, with the intention of destroying both the facilities and the convoy. You will be deployed in the TIE Defender designated Alpha-1 along with two wingmen. You will defend the area along with assault gunboats from Tau Squadron and our remaining two modified corvettes. Vice Admiral Thrawn has also dispatched the Nebulon B frigates Thrasher and Moa from his task force to be stationed on permanent guard around the facilities. However, they will not be here in time to stop the attack, so you must ensure that the Rebel Strike Force is repelled at all costs until the frigates arrive to relieve you. Intelligence sources have reported that a Rebel Strike Force is currently inbound to the ZA-13 plants. We currently have a major supply convoy also inbound to the plants, and we expect the Rebel forces to attack as they arrive to maximize their impact. You must do everything in your power to ensure the safety of both the convoy as they transfer their supplies, and the plants themselves. You will be supported by gunboats from Tau Squadron and a pair of modified corvettes. The frigates Moa and Thrasher are not far behind the convoy and will relieve you once they arrive. With only a few TIE Advance factories left in existence, this mission is one of critical importance. Intelligence sources have reported. Large rebel attack force just jumped in. All craft protect the convoy and the plant. Rebel frigate is moving towards the station. <laughs> <laughs> 
TIE advanced plants have been resupplied and the rebel attack repelled. As of now, the plant is guarded by the Nebulon B frigates Thrasher and Moa. Soon both plants will be in full production of TIE advanced starfighters. During the engagement, the rebels were once again using the Magnetic Pulse Warhead or MagPulse. This new warhead technology temporarily disables laser cannon weapon systems by draining their stored energy. This latest advance in weaponry is not completely understood, and what little knowledge we had came from Zarlin's own R&D teams before his coup attempt. Imperial Command therefore wants us to acquire further information on this weapon. 